any problems a safe spot to fence wagons and coaches that's easy money for us I guess you're right come on it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank if the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage we should hang up our hats now how are you feeling about things now what things this place, the gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. do it now I'll head over distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house find what you can then get the stagecoach or wait until nightfall sneak in then I'll get the coach you can try the house what do you think let's do it now sure all right then don't follow me
my good young man. Fare thee well, fare thee well. <laughs> is your father home, Sonny? Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. You know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. You done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. You should have been more careful. Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. Take it easy, Arthur. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> hey, slow it down. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> No doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? What are we doing off the road? Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. 
Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming?